What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today I wanted to talk just a little bit about tool memory in SketchUp and how it can save you time. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So sorry in advance if I rush through this, the other video that I was putting together kind of blew up on me again. So I figured I'd put together a quick video just talking a little bit about the tool memory that's contained in SketchUp. So let's say for example that I've had a rectangle right here and let's say that I was going to push pull that up or actually let's say I had a series of rectangles let's say I'll use the move tool in copy mode and let's say I had six copies of this and let's say that I wanted to push pull them all to the same height now we know that SketchUp doesn't allow us to push pull multiple faces at once there are some workarounds and some extensions that sort of thing but generally speaking you're not allowed to do that however if you come in here and you push pull let's say we push pulled this to a height of five feet and then I wanted to push pull all of these other ones to five feet. Now I could come in here and I could just kind of inference across these faces and th that works okay. That's fairly quick. Or you could just come in and you could just type in five feet every time. That's less quick and we probably don't want to do that. The thing is though, is tools in SketchUp actually, or some of the tools in SketchUp actually remember the last operation you did with them. So in this case, if I was to activate the push pull tool and I was to double click, this would actually extrude this by whatever the last distance was. And you'll notice this extruded this down. That's because your face has been, is facing the wrong direction. So it's, it's gonna basically activate this based on the front face. You're gonna want the front faces facing up. But you can see how I can double click on each one of these and this will repeat whatever the last action was that was used by that tool. And it's not just limited to faces like that. I could go ahead and push pull this one up five feet. You can see how basically this is remembering that the last time I used the push pull tool, it push pulled things five feet and so this works for other things as well like let's say for example that I was to draw something with the offset tool so let's say I have had a big face like this and I was to offset this in maybe 12 inches or something like that well I can come in here and I can double click on this face and you can see how this actually remembers how thick that was so you can see how I can use that to go ahead and just continue using that tool over and over again. So that can be a big time saver because a lot of the time you're going to end up doing this um, a whole bunch. Another good example is if I was to draw a wall, oops, like this one, and I wanted to push pull some rectangles through this face. And they don't have to be the same size either, so the, or the same shape either. So let's say I was to push pull this, whoops. Let's say I was to push pull this to the back side of my face to cut a hole. Now I could come in and I could just double click on these and you can see how this remembered that thickness so I was able to do that really quickly. So this can be a big time saver whenever you're basically doing things to the same dimension over and over again. That's where I'm gonna end today's video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Do you use this tip? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.